Hello everyone, today we have new video review with fresh release from Special Hobby. As you can see it's a new tool Mirage F1 CG and this particular edition it features Hellenic Air Force marking options and as you can see comes with this nice box art on the top side. Uh, here you can see comparison with my hand so it's not that big size but it's quite understandable for the 70 second scale model kit. On the side there is not that much information, just some safety notices and that's pretty much all. Uh, this is a top opening box and that's what we find inside. So assembly manual line on the top, all screws are packed into the same plastic bag and there is nothing on the bottom. So let's check first assembly manual. As you can see it's finished in form of this nice small brochure with short history note in Czech and English. On the first page then we have parts map. Note that there are some resin parts included as we can see on the parts map. Uh, then assembly process starts. Even though it looks a bit complicated I think it should be uh, easy to understand and to know what you have to do next. Uh, then we have a small list of the resin accessories which are available for this model. So as you can see we have even radars and after burner unit, uh, seats and wheels all are made out of the resin. And then we have marking options. So we have one, two and three marking options available in this kit which should be pretty much enough uh, because as far as you can see there are also stencils included and all necessary symbols of course. So now we're gonna look on the spruce just give me a second to open them. <clears throat> First I want to check the decals. Those are packed into the separate plastic bag. So no worries about their condition or possible damage during shipment. Uh, one second. So now you can see, here it is, uh, it's printed in cartograph by the way, so printing quality is quite nice and as you can see it contains all necessary symbols, stencils, even though it's 70 second scale. Um, I think I see some symbols for the dashboard, but of course it will be interesting to see if manufacturer will release uh, PE parts for this part of the aircraft. And then we have another separate plastic bag. Uh, it's actually a Ziploc bag, uh, which features resin pylons. Here they are, which should come handy for the proper digitalization of your model. Okay, next we have transparent parts, which are also packed into the separate plastic bag. So just give me a second to open it. <clears throat> Here it is. As you can see molding quality is excellent and also you should be able to assemble the model with open cockpit or a closed canopy. It will, I mean choice will be up to you. Uh, then we can start with the first grey plastic uh, sprue which contains various parts. We have here for example wheel wells, uh, air brakes, uh, even the landing gear OX and some parts for the nose cone. Note that there are several versions and one is molded together with iReal. And let's flip it to the other side. I don't see... Actually there are small tiny position pins which should help with proper alignment. And here you can see separately molded air intakes which look fine actually. So. With careful application you can get a very nice result. Uh, then we have separately molded fuselage house. As you can see they are placed on their own frames. And they look quite nice. Of course they will be updated with separately molded parts. Of course wings should be inserted into the slots. And inside there are position pins. And actually no cockpit detailization because cockpit should be assembled separately. Next we have 
plastic sprue with wing parts. Here it is. Note that uh, I guess this is a top segment is molded in such way that the bottom will be inserted in it. And here you can see the other side. So both wing parts feature recess panel lines and molded together with ailerons and flaps. And what else? Here we have tail wings for this aircraft. Next we have <coughs> more of the external parts. And surprisingly there are uh, one piece landing gear wheels. Here you can see them. Uh, there are also parts for the seats here and here. And some external parts as I said before. And one more plastic sprue, it contains different uh, external equipment. We have here several types of the missiles, pylons and also external tanks which, should, which can be attached to your uh, aircraft. So that's pretty much all for the video review. Nevertheless, as usual, you can check full review article on our website and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion and if you press the like button below and I would welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook group because it will uh, help you get all fresh articles and news on time and faster than others. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video review.